Hey folks, welcome back. Um, you can see a little fire up there. That was a gift from the uh, from the rainstorm, lightning storm that just ended. And uh, wondering if I should go there and help put it out. Ah, can always use the wood. <laughs> oh, I see. If it's on fire, it doesn't fall. That's kind of interesting. Are there any other bits that are on fire still? Nope. Okay. There we go. I did my Smokey the Bear imitation. I did my duty to preserve the forest by chopping it down. Anyway, uh, if we look at the calendar, I think we are now into... Oh, no, it's... we haven't hit midnight yet. But you can see that we're on the 8th of April, so that's the last day of this month. So we're about to go into late spring. Which, uh, you know, means time is moving onward. So what I'm going to want to do is make a boat. Because, as I mentioned before, uh, you can only go like that nope that's a barrel uh, that's a boat why can I not talk and chew bubble at the same time um, as I mentioned the uh, when you go into new chunks they'll spawn with some uh, you know with some crops in them and with some animals of course uh, but they only spawn with crops during spring and summer and I don't know if that includes late summer. It says early spring through summer is what it says in the uh, in the wiki. So that may mean I've only got like, you know, late spring, early summer, and summer only three seasons or 24 days in which to hunt for any new crops that I want to do. So I need to be getting a move on for that. Uh, I got another, I had to go kill another deer for more food. I'm still waiting on these carrots. So while I cook up this food, I'm hoping that when the month rolls over, oh, we're getting close, hoping that when the month rolls over, that'll be enough for these, uh, these to mature. Oh, what? Oh, no. Oh, the lightning. Oh, lightning hit one of my chests. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, I'll have to fix that up, too. I hadn't even noticed that. Okay, I'll get right back to you. Oh, well. I actually ended up losing most of my stone, most of the stone that I had in here. But I managed to rescue some of the smooth stone before it despawned and a bit of the rock. Not that big a deal, just minor annoyance. Yeah, it's because of the time I spent fighting the fire when I, if I'd noticed that the chest had gotten hit by lightning, then I would have uh, gotten to it sooner. Oh well, not a big deal. So it's now the next day, and yes indeed, we're into late spring, the first day of it. Apparently this is Dries' birthday. He's one of the uh, uh, TNG developers. And you can see over here our lemon tree is in flower. Uh, more importantly, you see down here I have a blackberry because I, this bush was ready with one and there's a second one. So I'm going to save the blackberries because if I get another crop of those that may be enough that I can make some, uh, that I can make vinegar out of. Okay, um, what else have I got going on here? A uh, strawberry plant. And I've already forgotten what these are. Poison berries or something like that. Gooseberries, that's right. So let's combine these blackberries. And uh, go and store them in the chest inside a vessel. <clears throat> so they'll last as long as possible. I've already got some food in here, so that's a good place to put it. There we go. And... I can eat more. F I eat more fruit in this game than I do in real life. Sad, sad testament to my awful diet. Protein and sugar. Oh, and fat. Protein, fat, and sugar. That's my diet in real life. 
But here I eat much more healthily. See, we can look at my levels. No, not those levels. We'll come back to those levels. <laughs> Actually, I guess in some respects this reflects my real life diet too, heavy on the protein. But that's more vegetables and fruit than I eat in real life. Not that you care. All right, so um, I don't think these carrots are ready yet, but I'm going to pull one of them just to see. Yeah, yeah, it's just still seeds. Oh, well, so I'll have to come back to them. Come back for them later. We have ourselves a boat. Uh, what I was thinking of doing, uh, let's put the map here, is uh, sailing over to this area down here and start filling this area, since it looks like I haven't been there yet. This swath here, this like strip here that is missing, I think that's just a glitch in the uh, map, uh, the mini map software or the world map software. Because otherwise, how would I have gotten between these two locations without passing through it? So I'm pretty sure I have been in that area. Not, I don't think I've been down in here. So we'll start investigating down in here and just head south and see what sorts of things we can find. Ah, yes, the speed of boat travel. Always like that. All right, let's go back to the big map to see where I'm headed. Oh, I want to go further to the right. How do I do that? There we go. A sailing we will go. And a fine day for it is too. Yeah, it was raining when I started. Uh, when I was getting ready to record. And I'm getting tired of having these videos that start that start in the rain, so I was glad it ended, even if it did mean the destruction of my uh, of my chest. All right, here we go. Nice little bay. And I got all my armor on me, and I got my nice new wrought iron sword, just in case there are critters here that don't play nice, which there almost certainly will be. So what I would like to find, in terms of crops, alright, get out of this, is I want to find jute, of course, I've been talking about it, so you should know that by now, but I also want to find pumpkins, because you can still build jack-o'-lanterns in TFC, and I'm pretty sure it works in TNG as well. I don't think they took that away. Ah, I gotta go around this crevasse. <clears throat> so if that's the case, then I'll finally be able to build, uh, I can use jack-o'-lanterns as a light source that doesn't have to be continually renewed every 48 hours it is, 24, 48 hours. Okay, let's just double Check the map Rooney here. Yeah, so just go south. Head south, young man. I don't know who this young man is I'm talking about. Maybe it's you. Since the, uh, oh, more copper. And so we go for a lovely wander in the forest. Yeah, so I'm hoping that with the wrought iron, between the wrought iron armor and the wrought iron sword, I will be able to survive attacks by the various critters if they should happen to catch me. Um, I guess I should put my both of my spears. What happened to the other spear? Oh, there it is there.
but I don't think it's going to save me from a bear. Now, I've never really gone up against a bear. There's some bismuth. I've never really gone up a bear against a bear with wrought iron armor yet. So who knows? Maybe it is sufficient. There we go. So who knows? Maybe the wrought iron armor will even protect me from a bear, but I doubt it. I mean, you saw when I was putting on the armor that it doesn't give me that much. I mean, it improves my, I'm like plus one there. I'm, I think I'm plus two there. I'm plus two there and no difference there. So I'm, you know, plus five or six, which is good. That's an improvement, but I don't think it's make or break. Yeah, let's get up a little bit higher and see if we can see anything. That's one thing about jute. If you do run into it, it's pretty easy to spot, at least when it's uh, when it's mature. Because it's nice and tall and it has a bright whitish head or light colored head to it. And I don't see anything like that. Same thing with the pumpkins. Pumpkins are a nice bright orange, so... They're easy to identify too. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll keep looking. Lots of horses out here. I rarely bother with horses in, even in regular TFC. Actually, I don't know if regular TFC, if you could uh, domesticate horses or not. But even in regular Minecraft, I just... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm just passing through. Don't mind me, buddy. Uh, he saw my armor and knew that he was no match for me. That's why he pretended to ignore me. Up we go. What's up here? Oh, we found some ducks. Okay. Still don't see. Oh, there's something down here. Oh, there's a crop, at least. Onions or garlic. <coughs> It's not ripe yet, but I can still collect it for the seeds. And it is onion. So this is going to be onion probably as well. Yep. There's probably at least one more around here somewhere. Ah, here we go. There we go. Some extra onion seeds. Ooh. Ah, there's another animal. I want to steer clear of. All right. He's on that side. I'll stay on this side. And I should probably stop and have a bite to eat. A bite to drink and get my sword in my hand. Since I'm taking my life in my hands, I might as well at least have the sword in it too. I'm really going to be happy when I can finally get a bed, just sleep through the night. So oh, some tomatoes. All right, we have some clay there. And those tomatoes are not yet ripe. I could grab them for the seeds, but I'll just leave them. No, still not seeing anything really cool here. It's a little more difficult to see this stuff at night, of course, but I don't feel like just doing nothing through the night. What have we got in this direction? Anything? That's probably just tall grass there. Or some flowers. Ah, let's go investigate. What is this, more carrots? 
more carrot seeds since they were not ripe yet. So that's, no, that's just a rough flower, I think. Okay. Let's see what this stuff was. I'm guessing it's just tall grass. Might be some kind of flower. Yeah, it was just tall grass. That's unfortunate. Let's see anything around here. Whoops. Get that sword back in hand. Don't want to be caught off guard. Yeah, so I was thinking of doing, um, starting to do videos on some other game. And the one I'm currently looking at is Valheim. Which, uh, it's a pretty cool game, and I haven't gotten too far into it yet, so that's an, that'd be another good one where, you know, you can sort of come along with me as I learn the ins and the outs of the game. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm not really, actually not at all, keen on combat in games. Which is, I mean, if you know me, that would be a little bit odd, given that one of my favorite games is Europa Universalis, which is like almost completely, <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that. It it's nowhere near completely combat, but there is a lot of combat in it. I mean, that's how you conquer territory and whatnot. Hi, guys. But I got into Europa Universalis just because it's such a deep game. I mean, there's just so much to it. There's the economy, there's religion, there's there's the different estates and you have different government types and different cultures. There's just so much stuff going on in it that uh, that's what I really enjoy. These are more goats. Yeah, more goats. But Yorba Universalis, notwithstanding, I'm not, I'm not really that into combat. Like, and so even when I'm playing Minecraft, I almost always play it in peaceful mode. And when I play TFC on my own, I play in peaceful. The only reason I play it in non-peaceful here is because, I mean, it's because you guys, I'm assuming you guys are as bloodthirsty as most, uh, as most gamers are. And so you like to see me die or almost die. But so with Valheim, I really want to explore all the uh, the crafting and smithing and uh, you know the mining and all all that stuff in the game. And I don't I don't want to have to be continually fighting off little griblings or griblings or whatever the heck they call them, all the little monsters that want to come after you. So you can let me know in the comments what you think of that. Is that, uh, that that's what I would want to do there is do it in peaceful mode and if you didn't know there was a peaceful mode to Valheim and uh, then uh, if nothing else you can watch the first episode to see how you set that up it's not a mod or anything it's it's actually in the game just have to know where to find it Well, I'm not having much success here finding the things I'm after. Oh, there's some more squash up here. I might as well collect those. Collect that. Collect the seeds, rather, because... Yeah, so it used to be... I think this is another difference in um, TNG versus classic TFC is in classic TFC, when you came into a new chunk and the crops spawned, they would spawn with varying ages. So some of them would be just like, like newly planted seedlings. Uh, get that sword back in your hand. Yeah, some of them would spawn as just newfound seedlings and others would spawn fully ripe. 
So you come across a clump and there would be a couple, at least one there that you could actually collect and was ready to eat. Yeah, I'm going to want to be heading south soon. Oh, there's another squash I can collect. But now it seems in uh, TNG that when they spawn, they're always still just, there's none of them are mature when they spawn. So if I actually wanted to get some edible uh, crops, I'd have to like go into the, go into a chunk like this and get them to spawn like this squash is here. And then I either go away for a day or two or hang around in the chunk for a day or two and then come back and they might have ripened up by then. Oh, whoops, forgot to collect. <laughs> Too busy talking about it, not enough time collecting it. All right. Uh, yep, got to head north again. Well, I haven't found any of the things I'm looking for. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Oh, for a moment there, I thought the Minecraft music was going to uh, play that song for me. Not really, just a couple of notes sounded the same. Where are we on the big map? Let's zoom out a bit. Uh, let's go east then. I'm still got plenty of food and water. Oh, some more rhubarb. Like more rhubarb seeds, I guess. I can never tell when rhubarb is right, man. Oh, the, are these rhubarb or are they beets? Oh, beets, not rhubarb. Yeah. They look like rhubarb to me when they're in the ground. Oh, there's some sheep. Some more sheep. So I could kill the sheep just to get wool. I'm not really keen on doing that. Because I'd rather, you know, take some back to, to breed. But now I'm concerned about this thing about those goats getting too old to milk. So I'm concerned that if I leave these guys here and then try and come back to get them, they'll be too old to breed. Uh. But still, well, until I get desperate, am I still hitting up? One head east. Go east. <clears throat> Eastward ho. There's something up there. Something, oh, maybe it's just wood. It's just a different, it looks like just an oak tree. Hmm. I wonder if, uh, if jute and pumpkins are biome specific crops. And so I won't find them until I get into a different biome. There's something a little different up there. Coloring is a little bit different. Maybe it's an animal of some kind. Oh, it's a hyena. Oh, crap. Hyenas can be a pain in the attack in packs. Still rather be attacked by a hyena than the bear. All right, let's go grab some altitude here. See what we can find. It's a big, beautiful world. And it doesn't have the stuff in it that I'm looking for. East is not a good direction from here, is it? Let's have a look at the map again. Ah, uh, yeah. Well. 
I'm going to go down and go around. Heard a little something there, but I think it was just dirt falling. Go down and around. And we'll see what's found. Oh yeah, i got to go down to the water here. Oh, this is going to be some more, um, might be potatoes, but I'm pretty sure, oh no, you can tell here, yeah, that these are more, uh, peppers, either red or yellow bell peppers, yellow, I'll get more seeds for our victory garden. Oh, I actually got a green pepper off that one. Oh, so yeah, that's right. So peppers will be the one exception to the... Yeah, that's interesting. So to what I was just saying about... Um, in TNG, it, it doesn't look like, you know, the crops spawn old enough to actually be mature. Bell peppers will be the one exception because bef in the stage, the final stage before they're mature, you can still... You can harvest them as green bell peppers. So I actually got a green bell pepper off of that. Cool. There we go. Um, I'm going to need some water soon. <clears throat> I have plenty on me, but of course it's nice if I can... Uh... Oh, see that there? That looks like jute. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That looks like jute. We're going to be in the open plains. What's going to attack us? It looks very much like jute. Those are horses over there. There's something less horse-like down there. I don't know what that is down there. don't like the looks of it. That is definitely jute. Or, well, no, actually, I don't know. It could be a flower. There's so many new... F Ooh, saber tooth there. Okay, we won't go that way. <laughs> There's so many new flowers... in Minecraft and also in I don't know if TNG actually added flowers or if those are just the flowers from Minecraft but there's so many new flowers that yeah more hyenas there but I often don't recognize them what are these here ducks okay yeah so this does look like jute all right, so it's not ready yet. So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, mark it. Okay, and then I can come back to it in a couple of days when it's ripe. Got some pigs over there, some more ducks here. Maybe I should, should set up a second home here. This looks pretty nice, actually. You know, except for the you know, hyenas and the saber tooth back over there. Okay, so let's do some. Let's mark these ducks. Animacules, aqua, more ducks. And then go over and mark the pigs. Ooh, lots of pigs here. A, I was going to say cornucopia of pigs, but I should say plentitude of pigs, just to get the alliteration in. All right. Aqua. Pigs. Okay, so we found one thing we're after. That's cool. Now it would be nice if we could just find... Actually, I'm going to go harvest this one here. Just to be double, double sure, but I'm pretty sure it's cute. Hang on. Yeah, cute. Perfect. Okay. That 
looks like another hyena or something over there. Or lion? Oh, that might actually be a lion. It's light enough in color. Or, oh no, it's cane. It's sugar cane. Oh, okay. Do, do, do. do I have sugar cane? I don't think I have sugar cane seeds, so I might as well go over and harvest it. Yeah, that's another thing I'm going to have to watch out for. The, re the reason I'm not just grabbing all the seeds from the jute and taking it home is because I'm concerned. Those look very, seeds look very similar between those two. Is jute has a, takes really long time to grow. And so my concern is that there might not be a long enough growing season for me to start them from seed. So I've got a much better chance of actually being able to harvest some, some of the fiber, harvest the mature jute if I just leave them in situ and then come back when they're ripe. Oh, green bean. This green bean. Oh, these are tomatoes. Oh, these are very young tomatoes then. Oh, okay. I don't really need more tomatoes. Okay, where are we on our big map? I've gone and gone astray somewhere. I'm heading back north again. Okay, so let's go through this pass and then we'll head north. So that pass is like due east me. That's that right there. Okay. Sword in hand. Orf we go. I have to wait for at least a day to pass before I revisit those that jute. Holy moly! How am I supposed to get through all this stuff? Oh, because I'm going north. I meant to go east. Wrong pass. I was just watching an episode of Survivor Man where he talks about that. He talks about how easy it is to get lost in the mountains. All passes look alike. Oh, fruit tree. Some kind. Let's find out what kind it is. Hmm. Well, this is another one of those ones with a gray trunk. And we didn't get anything off of it. Oh, there it is. It's a cherry. Okay. Oh, okay, fair enough. And this is east, so this is still that pass that I was talking about. Well, that is not much of a pass. What does the map show me? Yeah, that's what I was aiming for, but that's not going to work out well for me. Maybe if I go up, I'll be able to get over. I don't think this is going to get me over. Nope. What are the chances there's a hole here that goes all the way through? Nope. Okay, I'll just head further south until I can get to a place where I can get through. <laughs> I'll just get to the other side and there'll be time to go back and check on the uh, jute. Uh, I can't get across here either. All right, further south. Oh, I need to have something to drink. See if there's any water handy here. Nope. So. Oh, it broke. 
Ah. Uh, inferior. Inferior foreign made crap. Okay. Yeah, so this will get me over. And I also get a good view of the lay of the land. What have we got here? Don't see much of anything. Oh, there's some more jute down there. I guess I can go grab the seeds from that. And then when I get home, I can at least plant it and see if, see if I can get a crop out of it before winter comes. And those are more goats. There's the jute. Oh, there's some right here too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sure there's nothing around here that wants to kill me. And then there was one more, or at least one more, over here somewhere. There it is. Okay, now I'm heading east again. More goats. Let me get my sword in hand before I crest this little rise here. There we go. And if there's some other game you'd like to see me play or go through in my own plodding manner, uh, let me know in the comments. Or even if there's just a game that you'd recommend to me, even if I don't, don't do videos of it, just that you think I might enjoy that's along similar lines. I, what I really like I, is, like I say, I'm not that big into combat. What I like is tech progression. So I like it when there's like an interesting tech tree that I can progress along. And so I'm interested in rim world. Oh, here's a, this looks like a blueberry bush. Yep. Oh, I'm getting full up. 